kind of stand away from it. <laughs> <laughs> a little wobble in the grinding wheel there, yeah. <laughs> just saying. This is the second generator I bought. I've had this about two years, and uh, it's a Predator 2000. It's from Harbor Freight, uh, $449, I think is what I paid for it. Um, it powers my camper great in the wintertime. I use it uh, when I'm dry camping at the hunting club. It's got a hundred and how many hours did you say? 160, I think. 160 about. hours on this one. And I did add an hour meter to it. They don't come with that from the factory. This one is a much more fuel efficient. If I'm camping, dry camping, and all I'm running is minimal electrical loads, uh, on a gallon of gas, this will run easily uh, 11 hours. I've done that multiple times. Uh, I like this one, but it won't start my air conditioner on my camper. I did notice resting sound pressure, ambient sound pressure is about 35 decibels. Okay. So that'll be good for the other video as well. All right. So we got about. Might put that in the description. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And we got uh, running at no, basically no load. How many watts we got? 0 0.71. So about the same as the Honda. Yeah. Which should be the same. Uh, and we running about 53. 54 decimals, mm -hmm. so about 5 dB higher than the Honda at risk. And both of them at 23 feet Correct. away from the meter. Correct. And this is a Predator 2000. Okay. Uh, that's the one I've been running for about two years. Okay. Of camping. Uh, so it's not brand new. Not brand new. Okay. 160 hours. I've got, uh, it has 2,000 peak watts and 1,600 running watts is what it's rated at. All right. So that's where we want to set our benchmarks at. Right. 124 volts. Yep. Sine wave looks good. Yep. Give it uh, 53 watts at 124 volts. What was the Honda? 127. Yep. This one's starting at 124 volts. Yep. So a few watts less. Yep. And so comp that yeah, it's commensurate. 45 right. watts. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. 45 watts on the uh, light bulb. So it was 55, 56, something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I don't like that. So. Let me just give it some resistive load. Okay. Do you have 800 watts available? That would be 50% load. I mm. thought this gave us like 700 Let's watts. Let's see what it does. 643. That's a little. All right. That's a little over. Well, it's quite a bit over half. Yeah. Coming back coming down. Back down though. Yeah. I think that's what we added to the Honda. Yeah. And we had okay. that. We had to add to the other heater. Right. Right, that give us that 40 watt light bulb. What are we trying to get to? 800 watts. We're pretty close. Well over there. Good. All right, that's 50% of running load. What's our sound pressure at? 57, 58. It's about 58 decibels. Yeah, 121 volts. And the side wave looks great. It does. That's uh. Yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're running at half rated load. The sound pressure level went from Good. resting at what was it, 54, 53? Somewhere we're right in there, and now we're at 57, 58. Yeah. Which is, that's not far from where the Honda was at full load. It's under right? load, under yeah. load, yeah. Okay. The Honda right. was near 61, I think that's yeah, 61. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. So, so far, it, it may be, I don't remember what the Honda was at 50% load, but. So this one is 1,600 watts. Correct. Okay. So I want to add another 1,000 watts to that. Okay. That's really close. That's actually 10, 10, I don't know, let's take a little off. Yeah. It's just slightly under. Let's add a little back. Yeah. That's pretty close. Add a little more to it over here. About six more water. There we go. Okay. That is, and this is on constant run, right? It's, yeah. Both of them are, all the way up. Both of them are supposed to be, but it, it's kind of warm in here. A little bit. Yeah. Okay, so now we're sitting right on 1.6 kilowatts. We are sitting there on 1.6 at 1818 volts. 
and 60 hertz. That's 62, 63 decibels. So that's a little louder than the Honda, but not by a lot. I guess the question is, is it $700 louder? And we need to hold this for how long? About 15 seconds. I think we've held it for 15 seconds. Okay. Are you getting nervous? No, not okay. at all. all right. I, I think I've run it that hotter, hotter before. Okay. Yeah, let's turn some of the, all these lights off and we'll run the the saws on it. Okay, let's give it a little inductive light. Not, I haven't watched this every moment, but I've not seen this voltage stop below 100. And, I think it's roughly. I don't think it's going down to 118. I think that's the lowest I've seen it as well. We may find out reviewing it and discussing it. Yeah. Okay. Circular saw rated at 13 amps, which that's under load. It's just stayed rock solid. Did I see it go to 92 volts? I, I don't know. Hit it again. Both times uh, this has not kicked off as hard as it normally does. Like if I plug into the grid power. Right. We also have that generator running in eco mode, which mm -hmm. means that the generator has to throttle up to match the load sure. of the device. Mm -hmm. So if we ran that in, we did it, and we should have done this probably, run them both in and out of eco mode with the same scenarios. But we didn't. We could. Uh, if anybody's interested in that, drop a comment and we'll come back and do that. You have to drop a good comment. There you go. We won't just do it because you said, I'd like to see that. You have to give us a reason. Yeah, and like it and subscribe and hit the bell and tell all your friends. There you go. Sign right. up for the door, door prizes. And do we have door prizes? We don't have any door Never prizes. Mind. What we do have is the grinder. Hey, is that a door prize? They don't want this. I understand. That's running no load, so right. What else? I think that's all of this test. We got the, it made its rated output. It did. Let me ask. I'll have a question. Okay. Does that have a start capacity, or do you know? I have no idea. Because the fact that it dropped and it didn't drop for long, and I don't think that's a problem as long as it doesn't stay there. I think you're okay. I think it just takes that long for the engine on the generator to spin up to build that DC current to go into that inverter. I believe you're correct. And if we ran that, again, if we ran that with eco mode turned off, we might not have that issue at all. But I don't yeah. think it's going to hurt that saw. Oh, no. I, I'm not time. worried about the saw. Correct. I wouldn't have a problem running my sensitive electronics on that, on that predator, just looking at the scope. It's clean. It's a good, clean looking and it's sine wave. 449, something like that. About that price? You catch it on sale? Yeah, I, they're always on sale, looks like. I think the Predator's probably a pretty solid contender. I like it. Yep. So, anyway, um, that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, if What's you like up what, next? Oh, Honda EU3000IS. Ooh, the big one. The big boy. Okay. So, go ahead and subscribe and you'll get notifica notified when you see that one. It's easy for you to say. No, it's not. I'm going to cut all that out. Okay. Um, anyway, we'll wrap this video up. Um, if you want to get notifications, click the bell and subscribe. And we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.